In discussing the rubber-powered foam plate free flight airplane, I'm going to start with the NATS 2021 NIFAS educational event held at the National Model Museum in Muncie, Indiana. And then I'm going to go back and talk about my experience starting with AMA Cub events and then using the Denny Dart balsa and tissue airplane and then my start with the uh, FPG-9 glider and then rubber-powered uh, foam plate airplanes. For the event at Muncie, I had brought some of my planes and then inside uh, Ronnie, Ross, and Doug helped the kids build airplanes, which they flew later outside. I helped with some of the adjusting of the planes outside. We had some really good flights and one of them flew out of sight. It was of great interest to me watching these guys help the kids build because when I've done it so often, I'm so pressed for time, I can't explain things well like they did. Also, as part of the event was an ice cream social, and Tim introduced the junior champions. Now I'm going to jump back 20 years ago when I held with AMA Cub events. Here you see Floyd Richards and a group of kids. Floyd was one of my mentors who taught me so much about indoor free flight. After using the AMA Cub, I used the Denny Dart, designed by Neil Dennis, but I always put the wing on the other direction, and I introduced this to a science teacher friend who used this uh, model plane in his classes, and the students did different exercises where they had to take uh, flight measurements and uh, then uh, do some calculations, and it was a big hit with the kids. In the early years, I held quite a bit with the construction, but after that, my teacher friend did really well, and the kids did well building. I went to a National Science Teacher Convention as a guest of the AMA, and I was introduced to the FPG-9, among other things. Here you see Gordon Schimmel. I introduced the FPG-9 to Kevin Guy, the hobby shop owner of Everything Hobby in Rochester, Minnesota, and he had kids building them at the Elmstead County Fair one year. He was also the Grandstand Entertainment, and he had an event called Recycle Eraser, where people built uh, cars out of recycled material and went down a ramp for distance. One year I had help with uh, having kids build FPG-9, as a part of a film festival during intermission time. For a couple of years, I went to the Wisconsin After School Teachers Convention and taught the teachers how to build something. One year it was mousetrap cars, and this particular year it was uh, flown plate planes, starting with FPG-9 and then a simple rubber-powered foam plane. I had different ideas for a rubber-powered foam plane built out of foam plates, and they all flew, but not all that well. They weren't all that consistent. I've, they were too short. Here's one that I used a plastic straw and built my own propeller, and I think on this one I might have used bamboo and the motor stick. And then I went to balsa, but it was uh, really too short of an airplane. And I also did model uh, airplane events for uh, the local park and rec. This was usually younger kids. We did FPG-9, and then we also built some of the rubber-powered planes. And they flew pretty well, but I just wasn't really satisfied that they would fly consistently like I wanted the plane to. For many years, I taught this uh, summer class for his College for Kids program and we built a variety of science related projects. And we'd always start out with the FPG-9 because it was a good place to get started. And there was a balcony there they could throw the planes off of so they had a good height to start with. We also flew rubber powered planes but I didn't have a good design at that time and some didn't fly that well. So Carl Geis, who had been a teacher and taught many model classes, sent me this all balsa plane that flew just really well. And based on that, I made up a plane using foam plates, which I called the Fantastic Foam Flyer. 
this plane was longer, which made it more stable, and it had plenty of dihedral. Here you see how I started out with a bag of parts that they could uh, cut out and then just glue together. They didn't have to uh, cut any balsa. They just cut out the foam plates and then glued it together. So they flew these planes both inside the atrium and then outdoors, weather permitting, and everybody seemed to have really pretty good flights. Once in a while the motor stick would break, but other than that there was usually very little damage, so I really thought this was a success.